song I wrote, I was, I was uh, again, living, still living in Green, Texas, and working as a cabinet maker, and uh, I got a call from Jerry Jeff Walker, and he had, uh, I'm going to hold off on that. <laughs> <laughs> he heard me in a show called Folkways, David Oberman's show on, on uh, KUT Radio, and uh, he said, how? I said, yes, sir. He said, Jerry Jeff. I said, really? He said, yeah, really is. Uh, I like what you're doing, and I'd like you to come out and open some shows for me. I said, sure, and that sounds exciting, you know, and it's, boy, it's my big break, it's my big chance at showbiz, right? So, I went to the airport in Austin, excuse me, and got on a twin engine Navajo airplane with Jerry Jeff and uh, Danny Britt, his tour manager, and a pilot named Captain Lane Bybee, whose motto was eight hours from the bottle to the throttle. <laughs> <laughs> and we flew, I mean, we were maybe about half as tall as this building, flying <laughs> across West Texas, through New Mexico, uh, into Arizona, played a couple shows there, and then up the coast of of California, and uh, it was it was like a Cheech and Chong kind of experience. <laughs> uh, Jerry calls it herbal song enhancement. <laughs> uh, I respond, I couldn't find my ass with a bell tied to it. <laughs> so put on your sunglasses. We're called reentry shields. <laughs> We'd all make gone all the way up the coast. We'd actually gone out and searched for, for, you know, cruised for whales, whale watching, and half a tank of fuel. We buzzed San Simeon in Northern California, tourists jumping under the bus. Fantastic. We were a giddy bunch. So I had a day off in Northern California, and I, I procured the, the rental car keys. And it was the last rental car that anybody ever allowed. Jerry Jeff to, to rant. <laughs> he, his motto was, don't be gentle, it's a rental. <laughs> and anyway, I got out of there as quick as I could, and I found a little bar up in Santa Rosa called the Orchard Inn, and it was kind of being eaten by the landscape, listening into the side of the hill, and moss covered and beautiful. And uh, I opened the door, and the, and the door swings hard to the left, and, and, the, and the floor of the bar runs down about three inches to the bar, so when you step in, you're pretty much in for the afternoon. <laughs> and and there, were, there was a guy sitting on two bar stools, the biggest mountain of a man, had a neck brace on and beautiful Japanese tattoos on both arms. And, and I spent the afternoon talking to this guy, his name was Chief, he was a longshoreman, had been in the Navy for years, and uh, he, was, he was pining over the loss of his Mary, who he had, he had left 40 years to the day, it was a birthday. So. He's crying on my shoulder. It was a tough afternoon for me. I got back to Wimberley safely, and uh, this song just kind of appeared to me. This is Chief's life story as I imagined it. This is called I Miss My Mary. <laughs> Yes, 
Missing my 